Hi guys. So this video is going to kind of be all over the place <laughs> and I'm going to explain why. Uh, for starters, totally forgot to film an intro. I'm really bad about that. Um, second of all, we did this little like bathroom refresh back in September of last year. I know I'm really, really bad with this editing of footage. <laughs> so uh, we did this back in September and then recently since we've been in quarantine, um, we decided to do a bathroom refresh again, but this time actually removing the old vanity and sink and faucets and replacing it. But you will see in this video me talking about wanting to do that. Well, now fast forward to real time, we've actually done it. And so I was asking you guys on Instagram if I should still share the old footage or just the new footage or what I should do. And a lot of you guys wanted to see both because this way, depending on your budget, you can still give a refresh to your bathroom and it'll work for you. In this video, you're going to see the original version, which is just changing it up with paint and a few accessories and things like that. Super simple and easy. I'm going to link everything down below of the items that I can that we purchased for the space. So in case you guys are interested, you can shop those items. These are affiliate links, so I'm just being open with that. That's what this video will be. And then on the very next one, we will show you how we actually took apart the vanity. Manny built a new one from scratch. It's a beautiful piece. Um, new sinks, new faucets, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. Guess what I'm doing, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I told this fool to shoot the intro because I always have to do it. I'm sure you guys get tired of looking at my face and this is what you give me to work with. <laughs> okay, but this is real life. We're painting the bathroom. No, he... <laughs> He always tries to act like all stiff and hard for you guys, but what that that was real life. That was him. Where are you going? Oh, I'm gonna go paint. <laughs> you go paint. All right, so I already patched in the holes here. We got some discoloration with the paint. Every time we try to touch up, for some reason, it's not blending with the existing color, even though it's the same one. So definitely in need of a fresh paint. But because it is a smaller bathroom, I just feel like the bright white is going to make it feel a lot brighter and bigger. Alright, so what are we doing in here? I'm gonna paint. So we're gonna paint and then, hey, is there a way to fix this board? Which board? This one that's sticking out? Yeah. And then also we need a plate for that, um... I can put a molding, uh... Yeah, I was gonna ask if we do that too. Yeah, that will actually put the... Lock it in? Down. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think a side trim would be better. Yeah. Is there a way to do like a, I guess like a fake one here? Yeah. Okay. And then maybe we do one up top? Yeah, let me get the, yes. The drill. Should we do one at the bottom too or no? Oh, I ain't gonna go over right now. Okay. Now, y'all keep in mind, this is gonna be gutted one day, not right now, cause you know, we ain't won the lotto. No, I'm just kidding. It's just not in the budget right at this moment. But it is coming. I do want to completely rip this out. And Manny's going to rebuild a vanity here. And then we will do new countertops, new sinks. We want to actually do the sinks that sit on top of the counter. And then we'll change out the um, faucets as well. So it, it's on the list. It's just going to happen right now. There's no money. Why are you taking those down? You told me to take them out. No. Those go there. I just put them in. I, see, you don't be listening. I told you to take those out. Oh. What? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so let's just say somebody's like never painted before. And it's like their first time to do it. What would you suggest that they do first? Do first? Yeah. Like if they've never painted anything before and they just decide they want to paint something. So you're saying start with cutting first. Yeah, always Which do the same first. For those that don't know what cutting is, what is cutting? It's basically. I know what it is, but I'm saying if somebody doesn't know what it is. It's basically painting the the corner of the the wall between Where the, the wall two and walls the meet, right? Yeah. Okay, so staying on that line, like what he's doing right now, that's called cutting. By the way, we had to do this when we moved into this house, and it sucked. My hands hurt so bad, like I couldn't even bend my fingers after so many hours because I would cut and he would roll. And always go, always go wide. That right. way you don't have to worry about when you roll, mm -hmm. you got to get too close to the, to the ceiling. So like up there, are you going to roll in between these or are you yeah. just going to do everything? No, I'm going to roll in between these. Okay. Yeah, like I said, you got you to gotta cut wide so you, can, you don't have to get too close to the wall with your roller. That's the other thing too, like sometimes you mess up and you, 
Once you paint the ceiling, you gotta repaint it. The corners you don't have to worry about because it it's white, white on white. The ceiling is the one that you go ceiling and the uh, the molding. Paint is done. Manny had to give it two coats to cover that blue gray color that we had before, but it is covered. Okay, here's what we've got going for Jack's little bathroom makeover. These are two floating shelves that Manny built. These are going to go above the toilet area. This is how he makes them, just in case you guys were curious. They're hollow on the inside. And then he has a bracket that will actually screw to the wall. And then you'll, you'll screw these on top of there. So we have the one here. And then here's the other one. We still have to, he's going to sand these and stain them. Actually, this color will be the color stain. This I picked up from Hobby Lobby today. It was 50% off. So I'm going to put this on the wall. And this will be to hang um, the hand towel off from. And then this guy over here, he built... We still have to sand and stain it, um, but this is going to be for a towel hook, and I just purchased these from Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99, and they were 50% off today, so I picked those three up, and that's going to go like that, and then that will hang on the wall for towels. You think that's too low? Yeah, right? That will work. Okay. Okay, so the, the shows that I do are actually they're always going to be they're a little bit i think it's two by a quarter thick in the back so it makes it easier for me to go buy a two by two piece of wood and make a bracket out of it because it fits perfect see it doesn't uh it doesn't have like a lot of play mm -hmm. and it actually helps put it up there so the only thing i do is I actually measure the width of the um, of the shelf. I basically cut it. Then I actually uh, measure from uh, here to the bottom, which is always going to be like uh, four foot. So I'll cut uh, two foot pieces just because this is already two. So all you have to do is basically. Once you cut it, you put it at the end, or if you want to measure first, that's why I always cut the piece that actually goes in the back, and then I try to find where the wall goes, and I I divide everything you have, I try to find right in the center, and then I look for the stud. So this one here, I'll actually show you, where's it gonna go? Right here. So this one's gonna go right there, right? And I already pre-drilled the holes. Actually, this one goes this way. So I already pre-drilled the hole. So and you pre-drilled the hole so it doesn't split the width. Yeah. You see? Like this is the only stud that I have. I don't have studs over here because this the, the second stud is gonna be right there. It's gonna be over here. It's always 16 inches away from each other. So I gotta make sure I find one good stud and I drilled a, a pretty good size uh, screw that's gonna hold it. And then this one is basically just gonna keep it in place. So that one screw has gotta hold all the weight. Yeah, well, see the thing. Like I said, if you actually do it right, and you you have a good like this is deck screw. This is not like inside screw. It's a deck screw, so it's not gonna it's it's gonna take a lot for it to break. It's gonna take a lot for it to rust. If you actually screw it in right in the center where you're supposed to have, and you put some force in it, this thing ain't moving. And this is basically just keeping it from coming down. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you can stack up stuff, and it's not now. In a deal, you're supposed to have two studs, but since your shelves are, you know, they're a certain size, we cannot, the only way that your shelves can, uh, we can grip both studs if your shelves were about that big. Yeah, it was too big, big for the space. So, all right, so that's center. Take. So that's the one that's on the stem. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Here, put the lighter one on the bottom. Oh my god. Okay. 
So here's some more things I picked up for the bathroom. I really love this hearth in hand sign from um, Target. This is the Chip and Joanna Gaines line. And this was $14.99. So I'm actually going to put this right above the toilet. And then I did also find these super cute towels from their line. And I love the tassels in them. The only issue I'm having is that it's not really white. It's more of like a creamy, like beige color. Although you can't tell a lot in here when you actually put it in the bathroom, you can tell. So I'm not sure these might have to go back, but they are really cute. And these were only um, $3.99 each. So that's from their hearts and hand collection, which I love. I just wish it was like a bright white versus a cream. So I picked up these fabulous mirrors. I love these. I thought the price was awesome. This is from their line Project 62. This is from Target. This is the 20... 28 inch round they do have a larger size than this but I love the mirror I just feel like it's just very clean pretty I bought it originally in brass now that wasn't my plan so originally I went looking for these in black they were out of stock so I purchased in brass and then I kind of liked it but then I went back today and I was like oh they have black so I switched them out <laughs> I caught these on sale and I got it for 50 bucks each mirror is 50 bucks which to me was an awesome price because I have been looking at different places. I've looked on Amazon, I've looked online, and they were a lot more expensive. So the fact that these were only 50 bucks, I thought was a steal. I also picked up this rug. This is going to go in front of the vanity, which, what size is this rug? Okay, so this is a 30, oh. this is a 30 by 48, and I thought the size was actually perfect. And how much was this thing? I want to say it was... So I want to say this was around $20. I'll have to double check, but it was 20% off. So that's why I picked it up. This is from Target. I like the fact that it's a lighter color because I'm trying to make the space look larger with brightness. So that's why I went ahead and stuck with this natural color. A lot of the bathroom rugs are really small and I don't like that. So I love the fact that this is actually large and it'll fit perfect right in front of the vanity. It is from Hobby Lobby, $17.99. Of course, I bought it when it was 50% off. So that's gonna go in there on one of the shelves. And then I also picked up this hearth and hand basket here from Target. I want to say it was $8.99. And then I just added little white washcloths that were inexpensive. I got some today at Target because they were on sale, I think, for like $1.50 for a six pack. This faux plants that I've had, this is from Home Goods. I've had this for a few years, so I'm not sure exactly how much I paid for that, but that I already had in there. I'm just going to use it to restyle on the shelves. And then this stuff I've already had as well. This um, mason jar, I actually already had it, and then I just bought the label and the foam pump from Amazon. I have that saved to our page. This is just, you know, for olive oil or vinegar, but I chose to put mouthwash in here, and this is from Home Goods. And then I just buy the little mouthwash disposable cups from Target or Walmart, and then just a little tray that I used to have in the kitchen from Home Goods. So that's gonna sit on top of the sink. Here's where we're at right now. I need to obviously style the sink area, put up our mirrors. We still need to add some trim to the side of this. So hopefully we'll get to do that this project. If not, it's on the list. And then here's the shelves that Manny built. My shower curtain, I just added this. This is a new purchase because it was on sale. This is from Target, it's regular $24.99. I caught it on sale and was able to get it for 15 bucks. And I just used curtain rings. They're the clip curtain rings. These are from Amazon. I'm pretty sure I have those saved to our Amazon page too. They're very inexpensive. but I love the shower curtain. I also like it because it is bright white, so it makes the space, like it just helps to brighten up the space and make it feel larger.